Hey, it's Christina with Kapwing, and I've got a tutorial on how to create promotional videos for social media. These are videos to promote your business, band, brand, giveaway, campaigns, uh, maybe a song you wrote, a longer video that you're trying to promote, anything that you're trying to get the word out about online. So first, I'm going to go through a few really important concepts that you need to think about to get you started. And then afterward, we're going to get onto the computer and I'm going to edit a couple examples with you. You don't need any expensive software. We'll be using Kapwing. It's an online video and image editing platform. Up to seven minutes for free. You just need a login. The first thing you should do is ask yourself, what platform is this going on? Because that's going to determine a lot of little factors. For instance, if this is for Instagram or Facebook, you're going to want it to be square. You can do rectangular videos on Facebook, but I think square ones perform better. If it's for YouTube, you're going to want it to be a wide rectangle. If it's for Instagram stories, you're going to want it to be a vertical video. Think about what kind of device are they going to be watching this on? A lot of people who are accessing this when their phones aren't going to have their sound up, especially for Facebook and Instagram. So for those platforms, you're going to want to subtitle it. YouTube, you'll probably be okay without subtitling, though I think some statistics show you that adding captions can still boost your views. The other thing that's really important is, are people going to be scrolling when they're finding your stuff? If this is for Instagram, Facebook, even Instagram stories where people are sort of tapping, you're competing against videos and pictures of other things that people really care about, like pictures of their friends' new babies and like food their friends are cooking. So you have to make sure that you really grab people's attention because your content is literally like it's a swipe to get rid of it. So you need the so you need to hook them in the first three seconds. But you don't want to give away everything, but you need to give enough information that they know it's something they might be interested in. So maybe you're like your what and your who or part of your why. Um, any of those like little things that are going to kind of hook them in or intrigue them. Whereas on YouTube, it's a much um, – more captive audience. People are there because they have searched for something most likely, or they were trying to, you know, or they got a link shared to them, or maybe they were on a website and it was embedded, but they're looking for information and they're usually a bit more engaged. So you can create a slower open. You can sort of lead them into the story. You can start with the problem um, and then kind of like build up the solution that you're offering. Next thing you're going to want to do is write a list of everything that you need to convey and then decide whether you're going to show it or tell it. Some information works better when you write it out or when it's given clearly in a narration, but some information you really need to show people. You can say your product is easy to use, but actually watching somebody do it easily is much more effective. And then there's other subtle things that you might want to convey. Um, the example I'm going to show you, it's a tour guide. And I think one thing people really want to know about when they're traveling and booking things remotely is, is this safe? Is this going to be memorable? Do people look at ease? So those are the kinds of emotions that I want to convey in the footage that I choose. Then I take that list and build my script off of it. So anything that I want to tell, I will choose to either make it narration or text on screen. You also have to be very realistic about your visuals. What kind of visuals do you have? What are you missing? What can you reshoot? Those are going to determine a lot of what you're able to do here. For this example, I'm going to be making videos that are promoting a tour guide. I took a trip to Senegal and had this amazing tour guide. He didn't have any social media presence. So I was like, let me try and make some online promo videos. So I'm going to go through a few basic important steps for editing, and then I'm going to make the piece on my own, and then I'll show you the final product and give you a little tour of uh, what I did and why. Open the link below and you will be taken here. So we'll just go with start with blank canvas. I knew that this video was going to be for Facebook and Instagram. So I made it one by one. You can see right here, one by one. You can change these throughout the video. If you duplicate the process, you don't have to like redo all your work. And then I clicked here where it says upload and uploaded a bunch of my footage. You'll also know that you'll have a, you have a, a library here with all the clips that you've already pulled in, which can be super helpful. Where is she on vacation? It's trying to hook somebody in. It's colorful. I see somebody that I can kind of relate to curious. That's kind of what that hook is for. 
So that plays for about three seconds. And that's usually the mark. That's like where I end my first, my first text slide is about three seconds. And then it goes to here. We have our second one. We have more footage of the same girl. Then we see it's Senegal. Now, let me show you a few things that I did here with this footage. The actual clip was about 11 seconds long and it's a really slow pan, which is lovely, but I also felt a little bit long for me. So if you click on your footage and then go here where it says trimmed, click. We have this trimming tool. This gray bar here is the overall play bar. And then this sort of purple section is the chunk of your full video that you are keeping. So this is to, this will like trim the heads and tails of your video basically. And then you can click add cut and that will create these little red sections that you're planning on cutting out. They're, they're all kind of parallel timelines. So you can see the video plays for a few seconds and then this red area is removed from up here and then we have a little bit more where we play and then this red area again is removed. So I just trimmed it up a little bit. And then you can add, I added text. You can click here for to add text. And then I went into the timeline and you can see this is the video. I scooted the text down so it doesn't start at the beginning of the clip. It kind of appears a few seconds in. Okay, now you know how to bring in your footage, how to add text, and some basic editing tips. Now I'm going to show you the final product, and then afterward I'm going to play it again, but much slower, and show you everything I did. Do you have any cares right now? Here's what I did and why. Cute opening shot. I used the color picker to pick an orange off of the bus. Uh, two different women looking like they're having fun, a variety of scenery, some fancy, some a little rustic. A hint, because I don't want to give away exactly their location. Here he is looking casual and effortless. I cropped him and then made the background orange, so that way we get a nice cool frame. Then some more pictures of Senegal, some texture. Here's a nice natural interaction that we had with the guide where he's pretending to take a photo, but it's a video. We look at ease. These are to add color or texture. It's a video of a market. And there we are taking a cooking class. I think explaining what we're doing in these images would probably be a great idea. It's a little hard on these shorter videos, but I think that would be great in a longer YouTube one. Cute interaction. Do you have any cares right now? Haha, <laughs> no. It's a boat ride. It's good to add on a call to action, like book or buy or click or explore. And this is people singing uh, traditional music, but I realize most people aren't going to have audio and this doesn't really look super memorable if you can't hear the magical sound. So if I was really nitpicking, I'd actually read, I'd probably change that shot. I hope you feel good now. I hope you feel empowered to go and create your own promo video. We would love to see the piece that you've come up with. So please share it on Twitter at mention us. It's at Kapwing app. You can also at mention me if you have questions or you want to show me your work. My Twitter handle is at C-E-R-Q-U-E-I-C. And uh, yeah, thank you. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have tons of good content.